Hello. How's it going, guys? Hopefully everything is set up. I always have to check when I start. Classic. Let me know if you guys can hear me and hear the music and it's all at good levels and stuff. And then we'll do a little bit more anim on this shot. If not, I'll test it myself. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's here yet. Let me see if I can hear myself. See if I can hear myself. Okay, I can definitely hear myself. That probably doubled up for you guys. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn my music down a touch. It's a bit loud for me. Let's do that. Right. Quieter music. Nice. Nice. Uh, so, if you missed out on the last stream I did with this character, we blocked out a shot using this Leo rig. Uh, I'll play it through. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel so this is where we got to all. last time. Not kind once. of like a blocking plus wow. pass. I'm going to tweak a few things before I go into spline, but I'm going to go into once. spline pretty quickly wow. today and then try and get through a bit of a spot in process. Wow. Uh, I have some reference oh. as well, which I'll probably pull up from time to time. So maybe I should get that set up as well. Uh, let me do that. Uh, where would that be? I had a play blast from last time. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I'm not sure the rig plays wow. pretty real time in, uh, in Maya, so all. I don't really need to not play blast once. too much. It's really, wow. really fast I didn't rig, feel sick which is at great. All. Not once. So yeah, this is how far in we are. Uh, I'll pull up that reference that I have just for referring to, as you would with reference. <laughs> and then we'll just get stuck in. I've got a few things I want to tweak and then we'll hit spline. Everything's going to break and I will go through a bit more of a layered approach when I get into spline. I work from the cog out uh, so you guys can get to see that kind of process. Oh, how was everyone's Christmas break? <laughs> hopefully it was good no one has said anything in chat yet i have no idea if anything's even working i shouldn't pull this on my screen uh where's my reference though that's the real question i think it's in the folder that i did this in movies maybe I should have found this before I started. What an idiot. Is it not in here? I guess it's not in here. Scenes. Hey, how's it going? Oh, we tapped out. How's it going, Pierre? Good to have you. I'll get to animating in just a minute. Oh, I've got a message on Discord. Maybe I should close Discord as well. Hey, didn't you go? <laughs> I think he's sending me some work to look at. We can look at that in a bit. Yo, Adam, how's it going? I'm good, thanks, Pierre. I had a nice Christmas break. Uh, here's my reference as well. All right, I'm keeping this reference up in case I need it. There's a few things with the weight I want to check now that I have fresh eyes. Uh, for those that don't know, I use Keyframe Pro for reference. Uh, the reason is... Oh, I hate how if I shake something it tabs everything up, that's so annoying. The reason is I have a tool in here, uh, keyframe sync, which means if I sync things up, it'll play in the software as well as Maya. And that means that it's not heavy and it won't take up any extra kind of... The scene will run just as fast, basically. <laughs> Good holidays and all. Nice. Did you get everything you wish for? <laughs> Right, uh, so the main thing I wanted to clean up before I get too stuck into this was the cog movement at the... At Not once. This once cog movement, once. I think, is a bit crap. <laughs> I think part of it is because it's flatly going left to right without coming forward at all. Uh, it is coming forward a little bit. Let's scale that up a bit, and then I can come forward more. We'll see how that feels. I think part of it is also it's just too light. You can tell how light or heavy something is by how fast it's moving, often. Or how fast it is to change direction, I should say. So the ease ins and outs on heavier things take longer than it does on lighter things. There's a top tip for you. At all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. At so I think I just ping out 
in here too much. It needs more time to ease out. I think that's what's making it feel weird. So let's, I know that I'm doing like a tiny anticipation in here, but I don't really feel like you read it too much. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is use those frames to ease out slowly. Not once, wow, at all, not once. Wow. And then hopefully what that's going to do, at least when we get into spline, is wow. it's going to make him feel a bit more weighty. I might need to snap up some of this in the middle now because it's feeling a bit linear. Um, and we'll clean that up. Uh, you missed the first stream of this. Uh, it plays pretty real time here. It says it's playing at 24 frames. So here's where we're up to with this. Uh, so this is the Leo rig by Wonderwall Studios, I think they call themselves. Uh, and I was very cheeky wow. and asked if I could I test it out early before all. its release. Not I think it's releasing once. on like the third wow. or fourth or something. I didn't feel sick at all. And currently it's twenty percent off. Uh, wow. But so far I'm finding it a really strong rig, and it's great to have wow. a like teenage character because usually rigs Not are just once. adults or babies. Basically, there's no in between. So it's nice to get a little teenage one. Uh, so hopefully that played. Uh, fast enough for you. So we did that all in the first stream. I was I was very fast. I'm surprised at how far into it I got really um, So yeah, when cleaning up your graph editor, here's the thing to, to think about right I'm looking at the gaps between each of these and since I'm on Basically on twos from this point the space between each of them needs to get bigger for each time until we start to slow down so Maybe around here we start to slow down again and then the space in between each of these can get progressively smaller. And a quick way to get progressively smaller spacing is using the ease in and out slider on Anibot. Saves you a lot of time of fiddling. So that's a nicer curve than what we just had uh, because the spacing is progressive. Wow. I didn't feel sick and the weight feels all. a little bit better to me now. Once. Wow. At all. Not once. At, at all. Not once. I think maybe part of it is we're doing a big weight shift and the rotates aren't changing too much What's happening with this rotate? We're turning this way and then coming back So maybe we need to come back less and go Once. Forward more. Wow. I have hotkeys set for scaling keys. That's how I'm doing that really quickly um, Let's see Once. I'm just gonna fiddle wow. with this little bit until I can get something feeling like decent Wow. Once I get into spline, it will be uh, once. a lot easier for sure. Once. Wow. Not once. Not once. Not once at all. Not at all. I think maybe part of it is the fact that it's pretty still in here. Like, this is pretty still. This is something you'll notice in spline more. Like, we have some movement going on in this area. But maybe we just need it to be a bit more and make sure that we're easing correctly in each direction. So we're coming to a stop and then we're picking up and the spacing is progressive in this direction. Ooh. You got to pre-order this rig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's cheap. Well, it's cheaper to pre-order. It's a bit more of a premium rig. I think it's about 30-ish dollars. Don't know what that is in pounds for any UK people. Um, so maybe what I need to do to make this a bit simpler is I'm going to copy the spacing from the X onto here and I'm going to snap the buffer so I can see because this spacing is a bit more uh, progressive in the way that we want it to be because I already cleaned that wow. curve up. So instead of having to do two curves, wow. I'm just doing that one. Feel sick at all. Not once. But anyway, I think... I'm gonna, I could tweak this and it not feeling right for ages in steps. I think the action is correct. It's just something about the spacing feels weird to me. And I'm gonna be able to see that easier when I hit spline. So I'm gonna hit spline. <laughs> this is the bit that animators hate doing, hate going into spline. But because I've animated from the first stream, if you caught it, I've animated on basically for all the moving parts, it's on twos or threes, maybe fours if it's a really slow movement like this or here. Um, but because I've kind of fleshed out quite far when I hit spline, it should keep its structure pretty well. Um, and I don't get that awful feeling where nothing works as soon as you hit spline. Um, so let's see. Let's hit spline and let's check it out. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick hey. at all. 
Thanks for the prime sub, man. Wow. Swagger. Hello. Arma D. How's it going, bud? Wow. It's been a while. I didn't feel sick at all. Not Thank once. you for the prime. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So yeah, I wow. hit spline. And the structure's there, it just feels floaty. Once. Which is fine, because wow. what I'm going to do now is go for a layered process where I tighten up each body part. Um, so I'm going to start with a cog and work my way out. So let's save this as a new version now that we've gone into spline, so we don't lose the blocking we just had. So I'm going to up this to five. The character looks like me, you think? Handsome young lad. I think I'm a bit older than this character's supposed to be. I'm 26 now, so... <laughs> Uh, so what do I do when I do uh, when I go through in spline? I'm gonna look at the cog first because everything right now is following the cog, apart from the feet, of course, because they're planted. Uh, I'm gonna clean that piece up first because it's the biggest piece. I am gonna hide the reference for now. I'm just gonna chuck it down here. If I need to refer to it, then I will later on. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the translate control so I don't accidentally affect any of the other keys, and I just affect the translate controls. And because I have uh, sync timeline and also sync graph header on if you right click you can see those when I select those it just comes up with those ones I don't have to go in here and select them manually and it also means that the keys here are only the keys for the translates so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck an arc tracker on him using Anibot and we can start to see things uh, I'm going to start cleaning up curves and we'll start to see things so I'm going to do the left and right first uh, I think we're already halfway for a movement as we start so I don't want I don't know why his skin texture disappeared. There you go. So because we're starting in movement, we don't want him to start with a flat tangent. We want him to start more linear. So it isn't easing out into it. It's already moving into it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe tighten this curve a bit so that it's more progressive. And we reach a nice ease in for this overshoot here. So I'm going to use 2D pan zoom in here as well. I'm just going to look at this X curve. Maybe... Oh, I need to change my actual key settings young chess is young version of me exactly <laughs> he is the young me uh so i'm seeing this hit of a wall here so we're, we're going left to right and then we just don't anymore so i think i'm going to continue this overshoot for an extra frame in here uh and then we just pop back so instead of that i'm probably going to set a key delete that key and do some fiddling so that's kind of my i do a lot of setting and deleting and moving keys so here, now that we're in spline, what I just did, hello, that was completely flat. Well, it's pretty flat. There's a slight change between these two values. You can see the value up here, but I think it's too flat for me and it makes him feel a bit dead. So I want to keep a bit of organic flow in that. And maybe what I'll do is I'll snap this up so it's a bit more progressive on that comeback. Uh, something like this, and I'll spread the keys out a little bit. You kind of get used to what curves look like and then you can adjust them easily. So that's that X. Um, and then we're going to move this way, which is cool. This is easing out quite nicely. I don't think I need to adjust this too much. Uh, so the, yeah, ease out, ease out. Starting to ease in. Easing in. I'm using hotkeys here, which is scale to neighbor left. So I have hotkeys set to scale to neighbor left, which is usually shift middle click on this green slider. But instead, I've set up a hotkey for it, which you can do it all through Anibot. Saves you a lot of time. So I'm just tightening up that curve so it feels a lot nicer. It's going to overshoot and come back around on itself. So what we're going to do here is tighten this up. <laughs> a lot of this is the curve is there. The structure of the curve is there because we have the directionality. We're just tightening up the spacing as we go through. So I'm gonna have this easing out for maybe an extra frame and then we can come in. And then instead of it changing direction on one frame, I'm gonna have it ease in and ease out like this. And that should, if we zoom in, at least for the left and right, the ups and downs we need to fix and the forwards and backs. But it should tighten up the spacing a little bit on some of this. So I'm gonna have that ease out and then start to ease in for this and then we'll maybe set a key over here for it to continue just so that it doesn't hit that top and look, there's a top that it cushions into and then it flows out of again that's kind of what i'm going for so everything 
especially with the cog which is a heavy piece it's the heaviest piece of the body it's the center of gravity i mean it's not really the center of gravity is a bit higher than where the cog usually is on a rig but for the for the sake of this we'll say it is so because it's the heaviest piece it has to settle in and then come back out unless you're doing something super cartoony which this shot isn't i always need to ease in and out of keys um so i never really want to just change direction off one key so here for example i think we can make that ease out sharper um, and by that I mean I'm making it so that there's more cushion room on either side and it's quicker through the middle. So now this is fast, but now then we're slowing down too soon. So I'm going to do something like that. We've got a lot of keys here and I don't think we need it. So what I usually do with stuff like this is, if I'm just doing a hold, I'm going to just push down that one in the middle and adjust those ones on the side. And then instead of all of those keys being there, we just have this one ease into this bottom position, ease back out of that bottom position. And we're going to flow back out again. Uh, cool. And I'm not really looking at this yet. I'll do a pass of cleanup on each of the curves and then I'll look at the graph. Uh, then I'll look at, sorry, the... What's it called? Motion trail. That's what it's called. And that will usually get me... Just cleaning up these curves will get me 90% of the way there and then there'll be little things here and there that I'm going to want to adjust looking at the motion trail. So again, I'm just tidying things up. But what you can do on big lots of keys like this, just going to use the ease in. And make sure that it's continuously moving in its progressive spacing, as we talked about already. So now that's a clean curve in my eyes. That wow. left to right. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I think we're hitting some walls left to right. Uh, for areas like this. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can make like the space in between it bigger. What I like to do is with these flats. Is I'll just grab the area that's flat. And there's smooth keys in Animbot. I use Animbot for loads of stuff. So this is one that's good. It's just hold down shift on this one. And that's basically just going to soften that that hard flat curve, which should I didn't feel sick. mean that there's a little oh. bit of give, more give than there was before. But now this ease out has lost its kind of shape, so I'm going to clean that up. Um, and maybe for something like this, I can make this more of a you know more of a change at the top of this curve. I'm going to try and find something where. So that we don't hit a flat at all as much. That's kind of what you're looking out for, once? at least what I look out wow. for. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So wow. that at all I didn't feel sick at all. Feels like it doesn't ease out enough for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soften this ease out. So it has more time where it starts to ease out. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. So there you go. There's the left and right. We can look at the ups and downs now. So I'm going to zoom in again, just in case I fancy looking at this. Same thing with this. We don't want to start on a flat tangent because we're halfway through motion. We're starting on a linear tangent. And he's going to be coming up and easing into this top position. And then he's going to ease out of this top position. Snap down his weight. Probably going to overshoot or something in here. And then cushion back. Um, so let's maybe overshoot that and cushion it back in the middle here. So I added a key in the middle just so it isn't a flat area. I'm going to ease more into this bottom position because as I said, it's the cog, it's the heaviest piece. So it needs a bit more time to change direction. Cool. So let's say that for that curve. And then here, maybe we can have this as a harder ease out, I think, and snap down into this because it's more of like a breakdown than a weight change so i'm going to ease down onto this ease out so i'm just scaling back and forth a little bit and we can ease out and come back into this top position so yeah we want this to continue into this top position uh maybe i'll do this on twos and that way i can have that cushion in evenly and then flow back out cool 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 and I'm going to soften this curve a little bit as well. If you have any questions about these curves and, and what I'm doing with splining, it's a bit more boring, I think, as a spectator, especially because it's more finicky. Um, yeah, but yeah, as I say, if you have any questions, go ahead. I think I want to make this more of an arc. So I'm going to make the ups a bit more exaggerated. And maybe I'll have that up come a bit earlier, the peak of the up a bit earlier. I think that will be a bit nicer for this arc. 
And have this start to come down a bit. Cool. I didn't feel sick. So what else are we looking at? This kind of pops on a frame. I think that's the left to right. Let's look at that. I think I'm holding this too much, so let's make that a bit smoother. Might be in the Z. We'll clean up the Z and I'll look in perspective at all that in a minute. But just making sure that it's super clean. This is kind of... At all. People ask once. about polish a lot, wow. but to me, polish is just everything after blocking. Once. I'm just cleaning wow. up everything. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. So let's continue with this curve. Where did I get to? Uh, I got to around here or something. I want to clean that up because it looks a bit dodgy. I got to around here, I think. So let's look at this one. I think we cleaned up this curve, but if not, let's look at it. I think maybe I want to bias the coming up than the going out. I think that makes sense to me. Cool. Yeah, so we got some weird stuff with the spacing here. Like I'm going to want to do this eventually. So let's have a look at it. What's that? We're going to continue to ease up here, I guess. Just because I want that curve to continue this way. Or at least somewhat this way. I'm kind of doing a bit of fiddling. I'm trying to make sure that that arc doesn't break on itself. Because I feel like it does a bit at the moment. Maybe I want to hold it right a bit more. So yeah, just looking at this. This arc tracker. Fastest curve cleaner on Twitch. Exactly. Ain't no one cleaning curves as fast as me. <laughs> Name one animator. <laughs> no, I'm sure there are many, many people that are extremely rapid at this stage. Go get Animbot really bugs bogs down my scenes yeah i think they've gotten better the newer versions have gotten better and not being heavy i've got a pretty beefy machine at this point so i think i'm pretty safe when it comes to if it's gonna start slowing me down or not especially with a rig like this which is really light um so here's the thing with the arc i had the down point here but i think it would make sense to have the down point here and then the arc's gonna be a bit cleaner so let's do that Make sure that the spacing is progressive, as we talked about. Gonna ease into this top position up here. Cool. So easing into that top position, and then we're gonna ease back out again and settle back down for this little down in here. Make sure that. All the spacing is progressive and nice. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, do you have your specs anywhere? I swear there's a way of doing it, right? Like if you type in system or something. Uh, I spent like £2,000 on a computer. It was quite a lot. <laughs> but I'm a freelancer, so it counts as like a business expense. Because I literally use it for work, so it makes complete sense that this is a business expense. Um, so that helped with the costs a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'll just speed through some of these curves. It's all the same principles, really. Um, making sure that direction changes have a little bit of cushion to them, because as I say, this is the cog. So it's the heaviest piece. So the direction changes, that's where you notice the weight. Cleaning that up. Cushion this down for a frame and then we'll make sure that this is easing into the final position. Nicely. Cool. So we have the ups wow. and downs, we have the left to rise. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. So they're a lot cleaner now. At all. Not once. I'm gonna wow. look at this curve. Because we're kind of viewing this from the front. Once. I'm going to make sure that this curve is clean and then we'll really look at the uh, curve for the forward and back in perspective. I feel like some of this in here, for example, we can maybe make this a bit nicer by 
making that arc go round a bit more with a bit more of a round and down so let's see how that affected my curves in here eh, it's pretty dirty in here now so i'll find sometimes dirty curves aren't the worst in the world but i like to keep it decently clean especially at this stage when i get to you know more and more polish this this doesn't matter to me but for now at least let's clean it i'll look at my specs in a second for you <laughs> exclamation mark specs so i think that's decently clean now and that looks better in perspective i think i want to hold back this a touch more i feel like this is breaking back on itself whereas that arc could be a bit cleaner if we kept him this way for a bit longer and then started to come around i think that would be cleaner so i think this is a bit cleaner in here cool and then let's check all of this some of this is not the cleanest i wonder what we could do huh at all not once yeah, it might be okay for now. I didn't feel sick at all. We'll look at the Z Once. before we get wow. really picky about the cog. At all. So yeah, I'm just Once. focusing on the wow. uh, translations, cleaning up the translation curves Once. and making wow. sure that it's moving around in I space clearly. At all. Not Once. Uh, exclamation box specs. Do I do that on Twitch? Do I do that on my PC? I'll try it on my PC. Uh, it's bringing up spec savers, which is a glasses place in the UK. <laughs> Maybe I need to do it on a command prompt. Nope. Whoops. Close that down. So I need to check my messages. Sorry, let me reply to this quickly. I'm organizing bowling for later. Wow, it's being organized. Good. Cool. Uh, yeah, Adam, let me know where I need to type in specs for you to see my PC stuff. I have system information. Maybe this is what you're looking for. Uh, processor. I don't know. Take a screenshot of this if you want to investigate yourself. <laughs> this is what I'm currently running with. There you go. You can pause or whatever you want to do. All right. So let's look at the forward and backs so i'm going to come into perspective for this one to look at the z um eh, i think i'll stay in here because i like having my graph that big i'll just make this perspective and then we can look at him from the side and we can chuck this guy on okay so yeah now we can look at these forward and backs in here on the cog awesome so again, we're starting on a flat tangent uh, because that's what auto is, but we're halfway for a movement on the start of the shot. So I don't want that to be flat. I want that to be nice, nice and uh, linear. I'm gonna clean this curve up. Got it, grazie. No worries, my friend. So we've got a flat one in here. Gonna bring that forward so it's got somewhere to go. Clean this up. Needs to be way closer, I think, to be able to see how that's affecting the arc in there. As I say, a lot of held keys here, so I'm just going to delete all of those ones in the middle and push one down just so it has somewhere to flow into slowly and flow back out slowly. Hiya! Ernie's first time chatter, how's it going? Uh, when you're splying, how do you set keys only on the curve you're working on? When I'm splining, I press S uh, in transfer A and the curve keys on the other yeah that's really annoying when that happens what i do is i select the channel in the channel box up here uh i make sure if you click right click live sync uh timeline selection in graphida and also in display thanks for the follow as well uh, and what that means is when i click on the curves it's going to show up in the graph editor but it's also going to show up with the keys in the timeline here only for that channel and what that means is when i click s it only sets the keys in those channel in that channel because it's the one that's selected um and the great thing about Animbot's uh, motion trail is it also, when I made the motion trail, I only selected the translates. So I only put keys where the translate keys were. So those white dots are only where the translate keys were when I made the motion trail. Hopefully that helps. Um, if that doesn't make sense, Ernie's might be pronouncing that wrong. Sorry if I do. Classic round here. 
Okay, so I'm going to ease this out more. I want that arc in here to make a bit more sense. Thanks a lot. Yeah, hopefully that's... I remember, I, it's just one of those things. You learn things with Maya as you go. Like, I still learn things and I've been animating for, like, years. Just one of those things that you learn and it just helps speed you up a bunch because you, <laughs> you're finally not fighting against the software. It's finally kind of working for you. Thanks for follow as well. Malkato. Malkato. Probably wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to ease this in. We had a bit of a bit lumpy curve here. So I'm going to ease it in. Maybe I'll delete every other one just to help with the amount of data there. I don't think it needs that much information. So now it's a bit of a smooth curve. Maybe I can delete that one and ease it out. The auto tangent does a good job of figuring out stuff pretty well. So I'm just trying to clean that up a decent amount myself. So yeah, in here, this is kind of speeding up and then slowing down again. So I'm going to make sure that this is progressive spacing and it's getting bigger as it goes on. And there's a lot of data up here that's kind of fuzzy. So I'm going to use the easing and out on Animbot, which cleans that up real quick. And I could do the same for the easing out of this one as well if I wanted to. All right, I haven't really looked at this uh, back and forth arc. So I'm going to check that since that's what we're kind of working on right now. So let's just check it from the front to the back. Cool. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, so that forward and back at the at end all. feels Not a bit once. dodgy to me. Wow, I feel sick. <laughs> I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Once. Wow. I think maybe part of it is because we start to move, but nothing is happening in the Y, and I think that feels a bit weird. Like I think we need to come out of this earlier. And start to come down a bit earlier. Hopefully that will. Once, wow. Like I this, this isn't the end all be all because Once. this isn't the camera angle. We'll look at the camera angle, which I should name shot cam right now. It's called Persp One. Get confused, otherwise. I'll lock it as well because otherwise I'll move it. Cool. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So that's I a clean translate pass on the cog. Once. Wow. I'm getting I a pop in the all. knee here, which you might be able to see. Yeah, you can probably see it through here. So what I might do is soft IK. I might turn up soft IK. I think that will, that, that just keeps it not hitting a wall, which is a nice control. I've used rigs with that before. Let's just stick that on 0.5 for the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, that one. Cool. Oh, and let's see if that. Feel sick at all. Not, I didn't that feel sick softened at that all. a fair bit. Feel sick at all. Feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I need to look at the hips as well because I've actually all. got animation on not the hip control once. itself. Wow. But in terms of the translation, I think wow. we're mostly there for this. Feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's a lot cleaner. Um, and that's just a pass that I did on that. Uh, so now I'm going to look at the rotates. And what I can do is I can go through and clean these curves. You know, there's eases here that aren't hitting properly. And, you know, we're hitting bombs and walls and different things. Uh, and I will do that. But there's a little trick that I've learned recently. I actually learned it from uh, the channel box Twitch stream, which you guys definitely check out there. The guys behind that stream are also the guys behind this rig. Uh, and they showed a little method of tracking arcs and rotation really easily. And what you do is, it's using Animbot again. Apparently I just use Animbot for everything. If I didn't have it, I'd be a terrible anime. So I make an arc and if I click Alt on this one, it offsets the arc so then I can move it in space. So now what we have is an arc which is pointing at the cog. So whenever you move the rotate, it moves the position of this arc. So you can track the arcs of the rotate. And it was a bit dodgy sometimes and you'll get this. This is just an artifact. If I refresh the... I forgot how to refresh this thing. Force refresh. Whoops. If I refresh this, it will show this is the correct thing. So now what this is going to let me do is uh, figure it out. Yeah, how's it going, Sam? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, first blind pass on this little guy. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Just doing a little test. Wow. Um, just showing off some little tips with tracking rotate arcs. 
So I want to put this somewhere that I can see it in screen space. Uh, but I also want it to be far enough away from him that it's, it's big so any micro movement and change in the rotate can be viewed pretty easily. Uh, but I'm also going to track the arcs and clean things normally. <laughs> By normally I mean with, uh, with the graph header, sorry. So yeah, any micro movement I do to this is affecting this arc in here. So you can see that there's some noise in here, right? Um, which is probably something to do with this. The fact that we're hitting a wall in here is causing some noise. So instead, I can just continue this rotation around. Um, I think that noise is partly artifacting. This tool is sadly not perfect. It's really annoying, in fact. Oh, here you go. Okay, it's a bit jank, but if I select all of these, it should be a bit better. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to go through and clean this up, and it's very micro. I don't know if that's actually happening in the arc or not. We'll figure it out. <laughs> right, I think that might be happening in the arc, so I'm just going to clean it up manually because... I'm lazy and what i'll do is i'll do this pass where i clean up the arcs using this little trick and then i'll go in and check the graph header and make sure the things are clean i think that's my new process but yeah i'll make this arc a bit bigger for example um maybe i can make this uh, no i can't make it any bigger but maybe i can zoom out with the thing and that way any change that i make won't affect it as much so yeah i'll track this arc around make sure that the spacing is progressive make sure that it's doing all the nice stuff that you want it to do i'm also sweating out right now i'm gonna have to take my hoodie off so yeah now we're getting to a bit of a lump in here so i want that to change whoops whoops <laughs> there is a tool in animbot that might help me with this um it's this. If you click on this, when you move things, it moves a lot less. But sadly, the Animbot arc track is buggy as hell. Eh, it kind of works with it. We'll use it. We'll use it. I'm going to be super picky about this. So, so this is a scaled up version of what the arc of the rotates is pointing at. It's like using the name constraint, basically. Um, so if I do a quick cleanup fast on this, we should get pretty far with the cleanup of the rotates and then I'll just finish it up with the uh, graph header. So I'm going to make this arc be nice and clean and go over nicely. So I'm just flicking through my keys and making sure that, that arc is clean. Um, and that's basically this cross section. So when I blocked, if you watch me block, then you see I'm often checking where this cross section is pointing to. And this is basically a magnified version of that, a visualization tool for that. And that lets me track where the rotate is. Uh, how are you tracking rotations? Quick recap. All right, I'll take one for my jumper and then I'll give you a quick recap. One second, I'm some water. Right, so what I did was I offset the arc tracker. <laughs> I offset the arc, arc tracker from the initial position that Animbot gives you, right? So let me go. This is a little trick. When you make an arc tracker in Animbot, it makes it where the control is. Uh, I need to, annoyingly you can't reset its position I don't think after you've offset it uh, unless I there's orientation tracking this might be <laughs> a new way of doing this but I'm doing it an old school way maybe we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see so if I delete the motion trail add it back again I'm gonna have to restart and bot to show you this I think because for some reason it it doesn't show up <laughs> it's very strange once you've offset it, it it doesn't go back unless you reset animbot which is a bit annoying but you know whatever 
I have a fast PC, so it resets instantly. Nice one. So I'm going to select the rotate controls because these are the keys that I want to see. Uh, I'm going to hit the thing. So here's my arc, which is following the positioning, which is being affected by the translate because we're rotating around this point, right? It's following the exact pivot. So we're rotating around this point. But if I offset this motion trail and move it out here, so that it's pointing back at itself, uh, we basically get to see what this cross section is doing in space, what this cross section is doing in space and such and such. So what you can do is you hold down Alt on this, you get the offsetter and then I can move it out. And now, if my doesn't crash, which it might because it's frozen. <laughs> uh, now, if I go on my offsetter, where, where the cogs rotation is pointing to is now what this arc is showing us. So if I go back into the camera view, uh, our arc is pointing at this. So if I track this now, in theory, it should give us decently clean curves and the rest of it. And we get a lot for free. So I'm just gonna make sure that this rotation is clean when I go around here, right? You see what I mean? Because basically it's a, it's a thing that's pointing at this. It's like if you had a locator in space and it's attached, if you parented that locator to the cog, and then track that arc, then you'd see what the rotation was affecting in space. And if you make that do nice arcs, in theory, the graph editor should be decently clean and then I'll just clean it up a little bit more. But I'm basically tracking the rotation separately to the translations. Hopefully that makes sense in theory. I, I've only started doing it recently, but it's given me pretty solid results, especially for like head rotations. I think it's really good for that. Um, so I'm just gonna make this arc nice. Got it, got it, nice. But again, another cheesy thing. Uh, you don't have to use Anibot. As I said, if you literally made a locator far away and parented it and then tracked the locator with an arc tracker, this would do the exact same thing. But Anibot's just letting me do that without the extra steps. And it's very minor movements because we're moving. We're basically moving as if there was a locator miles away, which is, you know, very subtle. But yeah, I, right now, some of these movements in here are too small for me. So I'm going to press offset on this again, and I'm going to move it even closer. And that way I can see what that's doing, but bigger. So look at this. Now I can see that there's a bit of noise in here, right? So now I can go in and clean that once we get around to this part of the arc. So we're just basically getting rid of any noise. So look, there's some dirty, dirty, dirty noise in here. We don't like dirty, dirty noise. We get rid of that. And I could be going through and doing this with a graph header, which would make a lot of sense, but I'm stupid. I wonder if this is real or not. No, it's not real. <laughs> uh, Anonbot's graph tracker thing breaks a lot and it's a real issue. It's very annoying. Um, just gonna clean up the actual thing in the graph quickly because I think that'll get me 80% of the way there and it'll be quicker than doing these tiny move movements but hopefully the theory behind it makes sense and the decision making that I'm doing <laughs> it is super useful I'm just kind of changing very minor things that you won't even see at this point but that's kind of what polish becomes when you get more polishy So I'm just going to tighten up this curve a little bit. We'll ease out here. I'm just going to do a quick pass on this curve and then check how that's affected that arc tracker. I think that was... I still don't have a solid workflow for this because it's so new to me. I kind of pick and choose depending on if I can get it to work just in viewport or not. I like to work as much in viewport as possible because it's more intuitive to me than using the graph. Right, so that's... You know, I've been moving curves around and it's decently clean. There's some bits over here that I could like clean this up, you know, do that too. And because this is a world space control, this is very representative um, of what's actually happening. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Right, okay, uh, so this, 
off Sir is way too far away now. I can't actually I can like <laughs> see it apart from on this very wow. minor I part. And let's make it up so I can see it. I didn't feel sick at all. Not... So yeah, there's noise in here that I want to clean up. And I think it's due to the Y trans rotate. Yeah, so look, there's noise in here, right? So let's just clean this up. Boom, boom. Make sure that this is kind of correctly easing. So yeah, it just visualizes what your graph is doing, basically. But then, yeah, I've got some noise down here, for example, that I might want to might clean up a bit and see how that affects it. Just going to clean some bits up because I think that will make it work a bit better in certain areas. But we're, we, I've given myself the structure and the arc that I want to create by vi doing the visualize trick. And that now when I clean it up, I'm just cleaning up the arcs that I've already kind of created because I'm not really changing anything other than a bit of the spacing and how smooth certain things are like this. You never use the graph editor. Uh... <laughs> Do you not at all? Are you fully a visual person? I guess, I mean, you worked on Hotel T, right? That's like... I bet you can't use the graph editor for that because it's just pure insanity and it's just all screen space tracking, I assume. And the graph editor often doesn't translate to that unless things are in world space. Yeah, that's cool. It's interesting to hear that. I mean, I know people definitely didn't. I didn't use wow. the graph editor for the first few years of my career for sure. I just did everything wow. in visual. But they're getting more and more minuscule with cleaning wow. things up. It's helped me a bit, I think, for sure. Um, what's this doing really? I mean, we're going under, but I don't think it's really adding anything to it. It's just a bit of noise. So if I ease out of this and then clean this curve up, it's going to be a lot nicer. Yeah, I don't think splining is the best spectator sport, but hopefully there's a few tips here and there that some of, some of the more student-y guys in here don't know about might help them out. I think blocking is uh, and blocking plus is the spectator sport of animation. If there is one, this is where things get really finicky and boring. <laughs> but you got to see it here and there to learn it. Um, I think I want to start coming down earlier in here, so that that arc comes. It's one clean arc instead of multiple arcs, if that makes sense. Because right now it's kind of gross. Let's just clean that up. Use it at a time when I worked in games, but less and less through my career. <laughs> Very lazy. It's all bad advice. Yeah, I mean, I'm being quite thorough because I'm on stream. If I wasn't on stream, I'd probably like not. <laughs> I would teach bad practice, but I'm trying my best not to teach bad practice. I feel like this is probably what you're supposed to do. You can get around it and not do it, but you know, I'm trying to. Trying to be a good little teacher, man. So this feels a bit steeper now. Let me get rid of that. So yeah, we got some weirdness going on. I definitely want this arc to feel a bit better. What if I make the arc bigger? That might help somewhat maybe <laughs> you're the student here no 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 you've worked on bigger stuff than me at this point my man got to catch up with you uh right I'm going to put this maybe on two so that I can make sense of it a little bit more. Like this is kind of broken in the graph editor, but that arc works a lot better to me in screen space. So I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> I'm comparing this graph and this in screen space. That's what I'm kind of doing. Um, and then, yeah, like I've adjusted the Y, but I might make the Y a bit bigger through here, for example, even though I've already done it. The big jump here. Uh, let's soften this a bit. 
I think it's a bit hard for right now. Nisa chat, how's it going, buddy? Uh, what's going on here? How is the graph moving the whole body? Uh, so the graph is corresponding to the different channels of movement, which are all these values. And that's affecting this one control, which is the cog control in here, blah, 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 which is moving him. So I'm getting very picky right now. And what I'm doing is I'm tracking how each of these channels is affecting uh, this arc, which is being visualized with a little tool I'm using. Uh, that might sound a bit complicated, but <laughs> it's, it, it will make sense after a few years <laughs> of practice. That's the least useful advice I've ever given. So I'm just cleaning up the curves because they correspond to how each uh, attribute of the different parts of the body are moving. Uh, <laughs> that might not make sense. It, it does get quite complicated, 3D animation, but it means that the level of subtlety that you can get to is, is a lot higher than with 2D stuff. 2D stuff is a lot more graphic wow. and arguably a lot more appealing Not because once. of that. Wow. But you can get a lot more realistic motion and such. Once. Wow. Using this stuff. Right, so I think the Z is not really going to affect this too much. So I'm just going to clean. So the Z is not really had much change uh, when I've been cleaning up that arc. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up using the graph editor real quick. And make it make sense. Make sure that everything is... Because, again, it's the cog. Things need to settle in and then flick back out to change direction. But look at the state of this. So this is what I got from my blocking, right? If I didn't check the graph editor, I would have just left all of this mess. And that's just a not clean arc at all. Uh, so what I can do is ease all of this out, maybe. I'm going to maybe put it on twos instead of ones. So I'm just going to delete every other key. Just so it's a bit more manageable. Maybe even more than that. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to clean this up, basically. Make it a nice clean curve that flows out, speeds up as it goes, and then it can get to this top position. I think that's what I should be going for. I'll check it. I'll play it through and see if it's doing what I want it to do or not in a second. I'm going to turn my heating off. It's absolutely boiling in here right now. Uh, let me finish this curve, though. And then we can check it. Um, are you new to 3D animation then? Uh, what is the graph controlling? So, with a 3D rig like this, you have rotation, translation, and scale controls, right? You gotta run. No worries, buddy. Happy holidays to you too, Sam. See you in a bit. Uh, so yeah, when you're using a 3D character like this, you have different controls on a 3D rig, which moves that character around. So this one is usually called the cog or the root. And that moves kind of the whole body around. So each of these channels, so this is like the X translate, the Y translate, and the Z translate. And each of them correspond to, to these graphs in the graph editor. So this is how the X is moving through space. This is how the Y is moving through space. This is how the Z is moving through space and that sort of thing. Um, just starting, yeah, it's very complicated the animation. <laughs> this might not be the stream, uh, to get started with because it's like me using a full flesh rig and going through and doing tons of stuff but I'll take this off. but for the more experienced people hopefully they're following along and knowing what the hell's going on uh check messenger sure thing uh yeah no no we're gonna go bowling at seven ish sean said sorry just sorting out my real life Seven ish for bowling. Nice, sorry, she responded. Thanks for the follow. Uh, someone else said something, right? Looks like a fun rig. Yeah, it does. First time view. How's it going, Shrill? Uh, yeah, it's actually really nice. Um, it's really fast, uh, and everything seems to work pretty well. I've spent wow. about an hour cleaning up the cog like because welcome once. to Spline, where everything wow. is way slower. Um, so I kind of want to finish cleaning up this Z and then once that's done I'll move on with my life <laughs> the Z and the X kind of have a relationship because when you move your weight left and right you kind of counter rotate yourself to keep your head in place um, so maybe I can look at the X for clues 
<laughs> yeah, you're you're right. Sure, I'm spending ages trying to figure this out. But I'm just going to clean up this curve roughly and then I'll kind of go through maybe some more of the body. The reason I'm spending so long with the cog is, is because it affects everything, basically. Everything apart from the legs this is affecting. So I want this to be as perfect as possible. Um, because any little mistake I make in this is going to come through later on. Um, there's a little lump in here. I don't really think we need this lump. I'm just going to... I'm just going to ease into that bottom position and get on with my day. And ease out of that bottom position. And then ease into this top position. Cool. Cool. So that graph's a lot cleaner. This ease is a bit broken, so let me clean that up. Cool. This might be a bit flat though, uh, so I'm just going to delete some keys in here so that it has a bit more flow to it. Uh, maybe not that one so much, or that one. Cool. I'm just trying to keep it structure. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So yeah, that, that cog has been thoroughly at cleaned at this Not point. Once. There's still some bumps wow. in this arc tracker, like this random frame here just decides to go up randomly. Uh, so let's just clean that up. I think it's in the X. You know, like, why does that work even though it's broken in the graph? Huh? That's the real question. Why does that work like that? <laughs> Weird, huh? I guess it's something to do with the rotation of the translation. Doesn't matter too much. I'd rather keep my curve clean because I'll end up copying it onto anything else. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, cool. So we've done the cog. Not once. And I kind of want to do the hips, which are pretty dirty right now. I've only, only done the rotate y, uh, Z on the hips because I'm basically just using it to complement the C and reverse C shapes in the spine. So I'm just going to do a quick clean up. I think I've got the change of directions from blocking that I wanted in this. I just want to make sure that the cleanup of this is good and the spacing. For those uh, more beginner, the spacing in terms of the graph editor and how you look at it, the spacing is the difference between the ups and the downs of each of these keys. And the timing is the difference between the left and the right. The left and the right is the time that it's passing and the up and down is the value that is changing. Hopefully that makes uh, some sense. <laughs> But they, they're very in sync with each other, but timing and spacing, it it's, gets a bit confusing and it's easy to mistake them, especially when you're starting out. So yeah, I'll just clean this curve up. Make sure that the... <laughs> kind of like music, maybe. Maybe if you... I don't know how you... How anything in music works at all. I'm sure you're a much bigger expert than I am. smooth this out maybe find something in here that cleans that up and then what's happening we're coming up onto this leg but maybe we should do that a bit earlier so let's just soften this and hold on it And then I'm doing like a little overshoot as the weight goes onto that leg and then back on here. But that overshoot should be snappier, I think. So let's try that. So this is for the hips, yeah. This is the hip control. Um, so I can get rid of this because this isn't what we're affecting anymore. Maybe just make that bounce and see what happens. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once wow i didn't feel so sick yeah this is just all. that z not of the hips once. wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow so yeah we've cleaned up that area decently now not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once so i'm going to save up a version and we're going to move up the body into the chest so that's the next bit i'm going to work on Uh, yeah, so the, this is, Animbot has a arc tracker tool. So this is what I'm using. It's this tool here, motion trail. It's a bit buggy, uh, but it's one of the better ones that I've used and I use it 
all the time for different things for tracking all kinds of different things very much part of my workflow at this point so we're going to move on to the chest at this point and right now this control doesn't have a world space switch from what i can tell um, wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to bake the translates on twos which you can do a value bot now, actually, if I just do bake on twos. Look at that. Bang. Easy. So every second frame has a key on the translate now. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to switch this to world space using Animbot again. I'm going to make a temporary controller. A world space temporary controller. Because this rig doesn't have a world space control from what I can tell. Uh, I'm going to use Animbot to cheat that. You could do it with locators if you didn't have uh, Animbot. But I'm doing it like this. So now there's an extra chest control. I'm going to make it orange, which has just been built. And this old chest control is just following that new chest control and it's just baked all the information to it. You can do the exact same thing with a locator. It's the exact same. Uh, wow. But now this is in world space. So whatever I do to the hips doesn't affect the cog anymore. Um, so now all of the curves on here should be representative of how that's moving in world space. So now I can go in and track all of this, right? And clean all of this up. So, once again, <laughs> we're going to go through and clean up curves. The fun bit of animation. So, I might do this a bit more visually. And I might just pull it around. Um, and make sure that this ease in is working. <laughs> mad how you can visualize it like this yeah it's very very picky at the stage we're at the previous stream i did with this character i was doing blocking which is a lot more broad a bit more expressive this is a bit more technical and a bit more picky i think i think it's a bit less entertaining to as a spectator to watch but i'm happy for all you guys coming to hang out anyway so i'm gonna clean all of this up because we've got some dirt carried over from the cog on this chest, so I'm just gonna clean that the hell up. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and do it pretty quick. I'm not even gonna look at what how it's affecting the thing, because I think the theory is sound enough that I shouldn't have to look at it. This should correspond pretty well with the with the body. Why is that so lumpy? Alright, whatever. Let me just do a real quick clean up pass of this. Basically just tightening the spacing of each of these direction changes around, making sure that there's not lumpiness like this. Um, so that things ease in and out correctly. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. Boom, boom, boom. this is flicking down pretty fast at this point so i'll probably have to look at what's happening in here in a second to make sure that makes sense maybe we'll give it an overshoot but once this is clean uh we should the chest should move <laughs> cleanly <laughs> which is what we're going for and then what i'll do once i've cleaned that uh is i'm going to focus on how to break that up from the cog so that the chest and the cog have kind of a different spacing uh, for everything, which you can do pretty easily with offsetting in world space and such, but I'll show you some tricks. Uh, all the same to the basics, yeah, yeah. So this is getting a bit dirty up here, so I'll just ease that in nicely. Using that tool in Animbot, cool. Just gonna delete every other key do some fiddling and this X should be decently clean pretty fast cool wow. let's have a quick look at it I didn't feel sick at all not once wow I didn't feel sick at all not once wow I didn't feel sick at all not once so it's decently clean 
right uh the y for example we can do a quick pass on make sure that things are kind of working nicely make sure that the spacing is progressive i always talk about that <laughs> hopefully that concept makes sense at this point deleting keys because you don't need them i only need this amount of keys to make this curve so let's delete the redundant ones so at this point we're kind of coming down quite fast so let's ease all of this out i guess we can have this have a little bounce back and out bing 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 bish bash bosh <laughs> any questions about this please ask because I'm just trying to get through some of the more boring bits and then I can go on to some interesting stuff afterwards. Boom, boom. Have that ease out. Chest is still a decently heavy part, so it's a bit more springy than the cog, but I still want it to be easing in and out with a level of softness. Uh, just realize that you don't do lip sync in the blocking parts. Uh, are you going to do it in a separate animation layer or something? Not a separate animation layer, but I'm going to do it after I've done the body. That's kind of just my process. I think it's easier for me to see the body and issues with the body before there's facial animation. Because once I start putting facial animation on, I just get so distracted by the facial animation and looking at the face that I lose track of what the hell the body's doing. <laughs> but that just might be me. Reach. yeah so not just me then <laughs> yeah yeah if i had like the mouth moving around and the eyes doing stuff I'm, I'm gonna be like when i look at things to check it i'm just gonna be distracted i think that's kind of how my brain works at least uh cool let's just keep that clean so now i've got just the z quickly so that's a clean version of the y Wow. I'm not even really looking at how that affected the arc tracker. Wow. Once. Wow. But that's a clean version of the Y. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So it should be clean and the arc should be clean and that sort of thing. Just based off the graph. So now we've got some dirt in here, right? That we, we need to clean up a fair bit. Um, so let me just do a super fast pass. Um, using lots of hotkeys and different things. Basically, just gonna ease that out of there. Boom. The quicker I can get through this, the faster I can get to the more interesting stuff. <laughs> Which I keep saying, but there will be interesting stuff, I promise. Da -da -da -da. Right, let's get rid of some of these keys. It's getting a bit claustrophobic in here and then I might just smooth this out a little bit soften it and tighten this up a little bit though sort of it's getting a bit dodgy in here isn't it look at this disgusting there you go that's a bit clean up what is happening here I'm going back in space yeah we're going back in space here make sure this is soft enough Bang, 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 bang. Sorry, I saw there's a message one sec. Let me clean this part up. Smoothing that out, soften it. Uh, you put your eyes on a layer, the mouse on a layer, so you can turn them off if they get distracted. Yeah, that, that makes total sense. And, and, and I could do that first, but I like to pose mouth shapes in particular quite graphically to camera as if it was 2D. And because of that, uh, wherever the head angle is, is going to affect that quite severely. So that's another reason why I don't do the lip sync tour later. Um, I understand why there's a bit of a hold in here, but I want to smooth it out a little bit. So let's do that. And then let's make sure that this is clean at the top. So this is a cleaned up version of the, the, the motion that we got from the cog. Um, in the translate. I'm not worried about the rotate right now. I'll do the rotate in a sec. 
Um, so what I can do is wow. we'll look at this quickly. At all. Not once. Wow. So maybe we'll look at the art quickly at and make sure that there's not, not any. Wow. There's some stuff in here that I think is a bit flat or not arcing nicely. So let's do a quick pass cleaning that up. And then once that's done, I'm going to do a pass of breaking up the chest from the body, which basically just I'm just going to offset different parts of I'm just going to offset the chest from the cog and have the chest lead certain actions and the cog lead other actions. And because now it's in world space and neither of these controls react react to one, one another, uh, it should be pretty easy to do. But yeah, let's look at these arcs quickly. So yeah, something like this in here, right? I might be like, nah, I want this to arc nicer. I want this to arc under, for example. And then it won't update because animals are annoying. Boom. Boom. So I'm just going to do this by eye at this point. Maybe I can arc this out a bit and have it come back in. Just doing this by eye on ones because that's the way it be sometimes. So this is decently flat in here. So I'm going to have it continue to arc over. And then it's got somewhere to settle and come back. Uh, it's getting a bit lumpy in here. I mean, it's very, I mean, I'm zoomed in so tight that like you wouldn't notice this really, but because the chest affects the head and the head's where you're looking, having a clean chest gets you a long way. Um, boom, boom, boom. Clean that up so that the spacing is a bit nicer. I can maybe overshoot this this way a little bit. Make sure that that's easing in nicely. So I've already kind of done the, and you can see how the graph is still pretty clean, even though I'm moving controls around constantly, which is pretty great. It's because I'm I'm going in and just doing minor changes, but just make that arc a bit cleaner. So the, yeah, this was a bit in here, which is getting a bit stiff. So let's let's make sure that this bit in particular has a nice up and down to it. Boom, boom, cool, easing out. And this bit as well definitely felt a bit stiff. So let's make sure that we're keeping the arc going up. Boom. Smash it down in here. And then I think it might make a bit more sense to bounce this around a bit more. Make sure that arc's clean. Boom, boom, boom. Clean arcs, clean wow. arcs, clean arcs. Here you go. Not clean arcs. At all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, so we've got clean arcs in the chest now, in the translate of the chest, not the rotate, once. but we'll do that wow. after. I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Cool, so I'm going to up a version because we're going to start getting a bit messy now. <laughs> uh, I'll save it and then I'll iterate my save up a version. That's the time as well. Oh, cool. Uh, how are you controlling the graph? I've never seen it. So the graph is just representing what's happening to the controls. So I can move things in screen space and it will affect what's happening in the graph still. Like they, they, but they both affect each other. This is just a visualization tool to see how things are moving in, in three dimensional space, like the ups and downs and, and different things, you know, I feel like this is a bit gross in here. I don't know what's happening there. Even though I just clean the arc up and I shouldn't care about this anymore. Right. So what am I going to do? Wow. Wow. So we've got a move wow. here. Wow. What do I want to lead this move? We're dragging the head, so I think we should drag the cog as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the translates. I'm going to grab all the keys up to, you know, where we're settling around here. And I think I'm just going to offset half a frame. Uh, half a frame is quite awkward to do manually, so I'm going to use Anibot to do it. Uh, it has a time offset, which is Control alt in here, and the first one does half a frame. So this is half a frame offset now. So the cog... And the chest should be broken up from each other a little bit. Wow. 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 Which should make wow. it feel a little bit wow. more organic. Wow. Wow. Cool. Very subtle. I didn't feel I didn't so here, I think I the cog should be leading it again as well. So maybe I'll get all of these controls in the middle and I'll do a half frame offset again. Half frame might, might not be enough, but we'll see. Yeah. So it's subtle, but now the cog starts to go a tiny bit before the chest whereas before they were in sync with each sick. other right wow i didn't feel sick at all, sick at all. At all. At all. so here maybe for for a bit of fun <laughs> a little bit of fun at we're gonna all. lead with the chest instead of the cog 
until we do the oh and i'm going to do half a frame so this time i'm going to bring the chest half a frame Not earlier at all Not sick at all Not sick at all i'll have the head lead more when i get to it feel sick at all Not once uh, at all. And I think for this whole ending, I want this the cock to be dragged. No, the chest to be dragged. So I'm going to track off for him. So yeah, subtle little thing. Little pass on the translates. But it's broken up the, the stuff a little bit. Cool. Special magic pass. Live on the edge. Do a full frame. I could do a full frame. Uh, let's do another half frame in this bit, for example. Ooh. I'm not sure what I just did, so let's not do that. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so that's wow. broken up a bit more now. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. I didn't feel sick at all. So I need to clean up these rotates. So they're decently clean. Some stuff that I'm gonna clean up, but you know, what I oh, let's undo that. What I could do is do that motion trail thing again to clean these up, which I guess I will do because I think it's a good little trick. So we make a motion trail, it's following the pivot, so that's how we just track the chest. But now I'm gonna offset it using Alt on the motion trail and bringing it towards us, and we're gonna get a representation of what that curve is doing in world space and what the what the curves are affecting. Cool, 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 cool. So now I can quickly go through, clean up the rotates. I got a little bit of artifacting, but it's okay. Cool, rotating quite nicely. that come all the way around oh shit <laughs> yeah it's a bit artifact if you do something slightly off and then try and change it back the graph the animbot is a bit buggy with it which is very annoying i wish it was a bit more consistent so yeah just cleaning up that arc make it make sense boom Okay, what's happening with this? Zooming out to see how this is affecting. Yeah, so we're getting a bit of a weird uh, arc in there, so I'm gonna clean that up. Boom, boom. How's that working in there? We're getting a bit dirty in here. Just gonna do a bigger arc around and then that should a bit nicer and then I can go the opposite way have it arc around a bit gross in here maybe a bit of graph editor tweaking will be good for this section but I don't want it ever to be kind of still so I'm just gonna make sure that the arc makes sense and then we got stuff up here which is not in a nice arc so I'm gonna make sure that that's in a nice arc magic Boom, boom, boom. Cool, wow. let's look at this. I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Cool, so let's have a quick look at these and make sure that there's no real dirtiness. So, I mean, I just tweaked that without looking at the graph header and it's decently clean. So, I mean, if I wanted to now, I can go in and really clean it up. What I'll do is I'll snap the buffer curve so I can, if I make any adjustments, I can see what those adjustments do. Um, I can ease this out. Uh, keep the keys on full frames after you shift to half frame. Yeah, that's what the Animbot tool does. So that's why I really like it. Because otherwise I'd have to do that myself and it would be really awkward. <laughs> yeah, half frames, they're pretty illegal, you know. In some states, they're not allowed. But in, in these states, in these ends where I am, you can play on the edge a little bit. 
Uh, so yeah, this is a bit dirty in here. So let me maybe clean it up a little bit. Smooth this out. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. It's a bit flat up here, so I'm going to smooth that out. And then this, I'm going to ease out a little bit just because it's a bit dirty. I'm not too bothered about. I mean, I'm not changing it enough that it should affect that bigger arc more. Um, just making sure that things are nice. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Speedy, speedy boy. Nice. Right, so there's a clean curve. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So we are getting a bit dead in here. Like, there's not much happening. But when I add like a breathing layer and maybe even a noise layer, if it's still dead at a later point, just to keep it alive in some of these moments, then you're not gonna you're not gonna notice it. Cool. So I think I can I can quickly go in and clean these curves as well since we're really going in and cleaning a lot of stuff. Is there any antibot license for students? I think for some online schools they have them. Um, so if you do courses with Anima Warriors, for example, I know look they have antibot licenses because I've done courses with them before and they've given me an antibot license. Uh, you can get a month three trial, uh, so if you know you're going to do a personal shot in a month, it might help you out. Personally, as a working professional, I have the professional version of Animbot, and I just use that as a tax expense because it is a tax expense because it's a tool I use for work. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of tools in there that really speed me up, and I'm slightly reliant on There are animators out there that are absolute weapons that you know don't even touch any of this stuff i just use it all to help speed me up and i could do everything it does manually it would just take longer um so i'm just very conscious of my time especially when you work on productions which don't give you the time that you sometimes need to get the quality that you want uh yeah so yeah this is that area around here that was really annoying and day so this is this is really going to need a little tweak i think so let's clean this up. Bump, bump. Uh, okay, so the gray curve underneath is your buffer curve, right? So if I select the curve and snap the buffer here, here, if I move it, the black curve underneath when you have the curve selected is what I snap that to. So that allows me to see what I had before and tweak from there instead of just tweaking blindly. Um, yeah, buffer curve. It's pretty pog. It's pretty useful. Adam knows. Adam knows what buffer curves are. I've shown him the ways. Okay, so let's clean this up with a little ease in. Bum, 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 bum. And then this is getting pretty dirty in here. So let me just... Do something like that and then smooth it and then maybe make that linear or something. Boom. Just going to make sure that this is not too gross. You know, it might make more sense if it just does that. And then I can have it just ease in and start to ease out at the very end, which is all good with me. Cool. Uh, sorry, just make it linear. Which one's linear out of these? I don't know, I can use the classic ones. Cool. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So yeah, we've cleaned up the cog and the all. chest at this point. Once. Wow. I didn't feel and we've sick tried to break them all. up from each other a little bit. Once. Wow. So at this point I'll move on to the head. At all. Not once. You might think why not the wow. neck? And it's because I haven't done too much to the neck really. And then I often end up just copying down from the head anyway. Wow. Just a little uh, little thing wow. I do. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. One, I think I'm holding the look away for too long. I think it should be a quicker look away in here. That's one thing I want to change real quick. Uh, 
I'm just going to speed that bit up because I think it would be nicer. Once. That's wow. a broad thing. Once. Yeah, it feels very linear now, actually. Oh, no. Once. Wow. Okay, we'll hold it. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Okay, so we're on to the head now. And the head wow. is just being affected by the chest at this point, not the cog. And since we've cleaned up the chest arc, the head's arc should be all good wow. in translate. I didn't feel sick at all. Uh, there is some translation going on. I don't know what I've done to the translates in here. But, you know, if I made the head world space and then offset by half frames as I was doing before, I could theoretically break up the translates of the head to the chest, which might make it feel a bit more organic. You don't want the head to feel too disconnected, though, because that's kind of like a bit gross looking. But I might try it, you know, stuff it. We're experimenting. I'm just going to clean up these keys. And then what I'll do is I'll stick the head in world space with a temporary controller, just like I did with the, um, the chest. Head curves copied onto the neck. Yeah, I'll get onto that hopefully. Yeah, scale down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I rotate the head in Y, for example, the neck is going to move a little bit with it. Um, maybe a little bit offset, but it's not like the neck can move in Y on its own. You can move, you can lead with the neck in Z and in X without the head translating. So it's more, I guess it's for Y mostly. Um, yeah. But I mean, if I'm about to make the head in world space, which I'm thinking of doing, then the neck's not going to affect the head at all anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. But there's always the issue of accidentally becoming too IK heady, which is, you know, could you don't want. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay, so let's let's stick this. Let's up a version again. So we've done the cog, we've done the hips, we've done the chest. We're going on to the head. What's the time? Almost five. All right, cool. We've got another hour or so till I normally finish. So I might be able to get through wow. everything apart from... Well, I might be able to get through the head and then the body or something. Wow. So just for translate's sake, the rotates, I haven't cleaned them up yet. Just for translates, I'm going to maybe bake the translates on twos just because I don't want any information to be lost once we get into world space. So there's baked on twos. And then I'm going to make a temporary controller here. Boom. Temp controller, head, IK, I'll call it. And now what we have is this controller here, which is this control now is parented under. So you can do that with a locator. If you wanted a world space controller and you don't have Animbot, you can do that with a locator. Um, so yeah, I've got this head controller and in translate, now all of these are corresponding to how it's moving in world space. Um, so I'm thinking for this part, I definitely want it to drag, so I'm going to drag it half a frame. Boom. So now, apex of the chest and the head are slightly different, and you get a little bit of break up and cushion in the translates. It's not subtle, but you know. So this one, uh, I might want to lead with the head, right? So maybe down to here, we'll lead with the head by half a frame in translate. I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. And uh, maybe through through here we want to lead with the head again. So I'm gonna grab this and half frame it this way. Boom. This is kind of moving on its own, I don't need to worry about that. Translates in here. I think maybe we'll just delay them half a frame for all of this. It rotates what's leading that around. So yeah. Once very wow. subtle you might not even notice it but all. the head Once. translation wow. of the head is slightly offset you can notice it here the most i think where now the chest is starting to come down as the head's coming up and we've achieved that just with offsetting and the head settles very slightly after the chest in translate wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow so yeah, now we can track the actual rotations of the of the head. That's the important bit of the head, really. That was just a subtle DL I added to it. Um, so we're dragging. Cool. Maybe we could drag more. Maybe we could really drag in here just for breakup. Boom. Boom. Ba da 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 da. I'm just going to clean this curve up. Boom. The head's a bit lighter, so I don't need it to ease in as much. I can have it ping around a little bit more. This stuff. 
it's very stuck in space. So I'm going to smooth it out a bunch. Delete some of the keys that are just causing noise. Clean this guy up a bunch. Boom. Um, and what I could do is use wow. the arc tracker. Wow. 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 Which I think I will wow. use. I think I'll use the arc tracker again for this. So I'm going to chuck an arc on here. I'm going to offset it using alt. I'm going to bring it towards the camera. I'm going to place it somewhere that we can see it. Might be a bit much like this. And then we can see how those rotates are affecting bits and bobs. Cool. So let's look at it. Boom, boom, boom. So maybe we want to have a bigger arc around at this point. We can have it settle in. Ooh. Get over there. Have this settle nicely in here. Cool. That's better. Start to come out. Boom. Can maybe break up the channels by having this arc around more earlier. Cool. 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 Making sure that arc's nice and clean. Boom, boom. So like, I think I want to have him shaking his head a bit in here, but I'm going to do that on a layer. We'll wait, it's a little bit layer. So I'm going to make the base layer nice and clean and following this arc, and then we'll make the layer after that um, less clean. So I'm going to start to lead this because we're leading with the head here a bit earlier. Cool. Um, clean arcs plus okay so we're getting a bit of dirt in here we come to a cell and then we just kind of come back on ourselves it's a bit weird Okay, I'm gonna have this come over a bit more maybe for this part. Ease out so it gets progressively bigger and then slows down. Cool, cool, cool. And then we can start to arc this maybe more under through this part. I don't mind going on ones because it's quite fine detail we're going into at this point. Spin around. Boom. Boom, boom. Arc that over because it was hitting a wall. Start to come back maybe a bit earlier here to keep this arc nice and clean. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe we can arc a bit over at the end. Cool. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So that's a bit cleaner. Wow. I think I didn't feel sick we're arcing all. too much here. So what I can do is I can go from this key until the end of that arc, which is about here. I'm going to select all those keys. And I'm just going to push pull it, which is scaling it to a linear curve. So if you look at those curves, I'm scaling that down. And then that arc should be... A lot at smaller. All. It didn't at update all. in the at all. graph at and the Not motion once. trail because it's a bit wow. broken. But you know. I didn't feel sick at all. One second. Not once. <coughs> wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Uh, what hotkeys do you use? Let me think about that for a second. Have a sip of water. What hotkeys, hotkeys do you use uh, for delete key, previous key, next key? Uh, I use Alt D but yours feel a lot cleaner. I just use the X, so the letter X for deleting keys, and I use C and V to go between keys. Uh, and then I also have like control five and six for going forward one frame, back one frame. And I use those all the time, all three of those sets of keys. Uh, 
All right, so let's have a look at this guy. Where are we at? Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick. Yeah, I think that's the sign of the facial once. animation there. Look, wow. when we get to it, it'll be a lot cleaner. I didn't feel sick at all. But we've cleaned up the head once. in terms of rotations. Wow. It's, it's clean. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. When I get the facial in there, it will make a lot more sense why Not it's once. snappier in certain wow. places, I think. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Okay, so I think once. we've cleaned wow. up the spine at this point. I didn't feel sick at to, all. To this Not first blind parcel I'm doing, you know? Wow. I always do a pass on everything cleaning up from blocking and then I'll start to, you know, tweak things more. Be a bit broader with it, with layers and different things. So I'm going to go up another thing because we clean up the head and we're going to go onto the shoulders, I guess. Let's look at the shoulders. Shoulders. X rotate in the shoulders you don't really need unless you're going above your head and he's not here. So I'm just going to flatten that completely. And then we can start looking at some of these curves. I'm trying to be fast by looking at two curves at once, but that might not be the best strategy. We'll see. Maybe a little overshoot and sell in here. Just going to clean this curve up. Bum, bum, bum. So this, I know what this is doing because I've done it a million times. This is the forward and back of the shoulder. So I'm just going to go through and clean it. Maybe I'll just look at the shoulder line cleaning for now because otherwise I'm going to get confused. Uh, cool. Da -da -da -da. What's happening here? We're coming forward. No, we're going back. We're kind of holding and then we're going back more. That's fine. I don't mind a little hold in that. That's okay. Let's just make sure that this ease. Maybe I want to overshoot back a bit. And then we can sell it in here. Cool. So that's the Y of that one. Let's do the Z of that one real quick. Trying to break up the channels a little bit. Heading out. Uh, wonderful time as always. Got speed with the rest. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, buddy. See you in a bit. Glad you enjoyed the stream. As I say, this is definitely uh, spectating what is less interesting, I think, cleaning up curves. When we get to facial animation, which will be the next bit, way more interesting. Once I've done a body pass. Oh, God, hopefully there's been a few tricks and tips and trips in here that are useful for guys there. Um... Uh, I don't want to lead as much as I am, I don't think. I think maybe. I think maybe I was leading a bit too much with that shoulder coming down, but it's okay. Shoulders can be very bouncy. I don't mind uh, change of directions quickly, unlike some of the other parts where I was trying to make sure they eased in and out and let there weren't too much change of direction. With the shoulders, I don't mind as much. So yeah, something like this, I don't mind making that tangent sharper, bouncing back quicker and that sort of thing. I think that's fine. So that was this screen right shoulder. I've done all. a clean up pass on now. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. So let's do the other shoulder quickly. Uh, the Y on this one. Just going to blast for it. Any questions, of course, jump them in chat. But for the most part, I'm just going to blast through this. I've got a little trick for the arms once we go into the arms. 
that I've started using recently. Um, which way is this going? Uh, I don't really think I want to go forward here. I think that's kind of pointless. So let's just ease this out. Unnecessary movement. We don't need it. Clean it up. Bum, 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 bum. Soften this guy. Clean him up. Yeah, this can probably just ease out. Keep it simple. Da -da -da -da. Don't mind the hold on that one. That's fine. Which way are we going here? We're going back. So yeah, I don't mind overshooting this a bit. I think that makes sense. And then this can ease in. Cool. Let's go back a bit. Cool, 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 cool. Wow. And then we'll do the Z on this one real quick. Ba da da da. I kind of like the offset that I had on the other shoulder, so I'm going to keep on this one. Bum, bum, bum. Clean up curves. Curve machine. <laughs> I'm just like sitting there talking to myself about cleaning up curves now. Amazing. Ease this out more, maybe. Smooth them out, make sure it's not static. It's decently clean for some reason. I think maybe we overshoot here. I think that's a bit cleaner. Wow. Nice. I didn't feel sick. So clean at up all. the shoulders. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. I feel like that come up here is too slow. Um, so I'm just going to bring it a frame earlier. Boom. At all. Not at all. Still feel like it's too slow. So let's, let's make it real snappy and just do like this. Oh, not sick at all. Sick at all. Not nice. That's better. Once. Wow. Shoulders are quite snappy as I was saying. sick at all. Not once. So we've got wow. the most most part of the arm movement in here already from blocking, right? It's, it's come through wow. decently. We just need to track things and clean it up. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Uh, so what I could do is go through and track all of this, make sure that all of the curves are clean, which which is a very valid way of working. But what I'm going to try and do is I've got a little script here, which is an aim script. We're going minus y. And what this will do is spake all this down. And it's going to make a little aim controller, apparently. Where is it? It's hidden from me. This one. No. It's not that one. It's this one. Why is it over there? I think we've done this incorrectly. Undo. We're still getting used to this. Let me bake it on twos first, because I think that's causing some issues. I was wow. basically going to clean up with a aim, aim controller, once. which is a bit different. But maybe... Oh, I'm in one space. That's why it didn't work. Okay, wow. it's, it's positive X. That's why I was confused. So this is going down positive X. And what we're going to do is control it. The rotates. Oh, we've gone up. Okay. It's negative X. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Negative X. I'll show you guys where to find the script in a minute. Hey buddy, how's it going? Mr. Danish Couch. Um, oh, this isn't what I want, is it? I'm trying to use this new tool, which is uh, aim space thing. But it keeps bugging out for me. Why is it going up here? That's the real question. We shouldn't go up there. <laughs> it's going to show you guys a new fancy tool and it doesn't work. Classic. 
Um, I really don't know why that isn't working. Maybe I'll re redo it. Let's try again. Aim it. Positive X because we're pointing in that direction. Boom. Maybe that's worked. Yes. Cool. So now what we have is a locator down here, which is the um, arm is pointing at it. So if I clean this up theoretically, if I maybe even put an arc tracker on it, um, I'll put it up here as an FK. Uh, maybe if I even put an arc tracker on it, I can clean up the rotates pretty easily. So let's do that. Is that not working? Why are you not putting an arc track on him? I don't know why that's not working. Here we go. So now we have an arc track on here and I can clean up those rotates using Translate. I just prefer to work that way. And I've started doing this recently. It's been quite cool. So let's look at this in, I want both of these. Maybe it wasn't working because I had both. Maybe. I do want to see how it's affecting screen space though. Uh, this is just to clean up the upper arm, yeah, yeah. So I'm just creating a a thing that this upper arm control is pointing at, and then when I clean it up, it's gonna be a bit easier for me to to track in world space. All right, it's not liking me unless I do it in here. So let's just clean it up in here, and then we'll figure it out. So, um, maybe we want the arm to arc back on itself here. And then we can settle back in here somewhere. Basically just gonna clean this up and then bake it back down to the arm. And then hopefully we should have a nice most of the arm pass most of the way with that this is basically the same thing i was doing when i was tracking rotates using an offset arc tracker which i could do um but this is just a different process that i'm trying out so i'm just going to clean this up in one space there's some weird spacing going on in here uh, let me focus on this just want to make sure that the spacing is always going in the same direction. We don't have any lumpiness. Does the locator stay the same distance from the controller? No, it doesn't. Um, which is why I'm going to check that the arc works in perspective. Because otherwise I could accidentally break it. Um, that's part of, part of this process, I think. As I say, I usually use FK arms, so this is, uh, sorry, I usually use IK arms, and that's why I'm trying out lots of experimental methods to avoid having to do the proper, well, the conventional FK <laughs> method. <laughs> this is my jammy, jammy, jammy way of doing it. Cool. Cool, swinging back here. gonna make sure this arc works nicely so here you go I'm, I'm constantly trying to change the angle because otherwise you get lost boom 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 this is black magic right here this, this is uh experts only <laughs> otherwise you get yourself in trouble Seems more difficult than just using, okay, it might be. Uh, I'm just kind of experimenting with it um, because I'm not used to FK. <laughs> I, I'm a anti-FK propagandist. I'm here to promote IK's agenda. Thanks for the following.
So I'm going to have to say here is we got some dirt, right? Um, but maybe this is what we want. I can't see what the camera's doing from this angle. So let's just keep the arc we had, but clean it up. That's kind of what I'm going for at least. But then something like this, we can definitely clean up and down here. Okay. Let's check it in some different angles, make sure that things are decently well tracked. I'm going to bake it back down to FK and, and do it in there as well. This is just a, this is just a first pass to get it decently clean because I don't know what I'm doing with FK. <laughs> feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel okay. We've got some dirt going on this in this direction. Um, so let's clean that up real quick. Bump, bump, bump. Pretty broad strokes cleaning things up at this point. Um, yeah. But I like it. A bit more of a different workflow. I was the same for a couple of years. <laughs> jump between them pretty frequently yeah yeah i still i still use ik a lot um i just wanted to get used to this kind of uh, yeah i don't know I, I feel like there's pros and cons to both right it depends on the shot but some people really stand by fk so i'm giving it a real chance and by giving it a real chance i'm trying to avoid doing it by using aim space instead of actually doing it but you know we'll pretend i'm doing it properly All right, let's look at the actual shot camera um, and see if we killed everything. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. No, we I haven't killed everything. At all. Not once. Wow. If anything, we've made it a little bit better, which is all. nice. Not once. Wow. So hopefully by doing that, we have cleaned that up a fair bit. Um, and I didn't have to go through and do all the rotation channels, which is pretty mental, really. I'm going in now and cleaning this up just because I think it's worth doing. It's just do's. Uh, so yeah, we got some real dirt in here. So let's just clean that up. Gonna delete every other frame just to make it easier. But yeah, that um, cleanup I just did with the arc tracker corresponds pretty well to, to the graph editor here. You know, I've got pretty far with it. Cool. Um, this looks decent. This looks okay for now. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. 
Not so yeah, once. we got decently far wow. with that arm I just by feel doing sick that. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. And I believe it's not destructive, so if I delete this, it should just let me say before I delete it. <laughs> just want to test though. If I delete this and then go back to this. I didn't feel sick at all. Not I once. Think, I'm not sure what happened when I do that. Maybe I shouldn't do it. <laughs> we'll keep it for now. If it lets me. Cool. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. But it should have cleaned wow. those arcs up. So if I track this in theory, this should be pretty pretty nice. I didn't feel sick at all. He says, not and then once. it's not nice at all. Wow. Alright, good job. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So yeah, maybe I should uh, clean this up a little bit. See if how this corresponds to this. Let's try it out. Maybe it's cleaner than I'm giving it credit for. Actually, the more I zoom in, the more I'm like, oh, okay, this is actually not too bad. So this part in here looks a mess. Yeah, let's just do a clean ease out. And a clean ease in. I didn't feel sick at all. And uh, maybe the same for this. No. Hmm. This is why I shouldn't do experimental things on stream. But you know, you get to learn along with me. in screen space let's see how that affects things not once cool wow. i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not i think once. that's decently clean i think this at all in here is pretty gross but I think that's partly, maybe it's from the side view. Let's have a look. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay, didn't do what I wanted it to do, but you know. Kind of looking at the camera space and seeing how it's being affected by me moving this around cool at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once cool i think that's decent i think for now we'll call that top wow. arm joint um, i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once sure so let's have a quick look at this we only need to look at one channel for this so it's all good could be cool if we drag the bottom of this arm a little bit and then have it catch up again cool Loosen it up a bit, cool. A little overshoot. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, so we got some, some grossness in here. I think we can just ease in pretty nicely here. Make sure that this is nicely cushioning into this bottom position and back out again. Yeah. 
I want to make sure that this is kind of hitting its apex at a different point to the, the upper arm, just to break it up. Um, just keep it loose. Let me smooth this out. Boom. Clean this guy up. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't mind dragging it a little bit like we've got. into this top position wow. cool i didn't feel sick at all not once wow I didn't trying to make sure that that amount of breakup is good once wow i didn't feel sick at all i didn't feel sick at all wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick wow 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 i didn't feel sick at all wow I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. I think that's wow. okay. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not um, once. Wow. Yeah. I didn't feel sick at all. It's time now. Not once. It's going fast. Wow. We'll try and get through the rest of the arm and some of the other arm. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Okay, so let's look at this quickly. I want to make sure that this is not gimbling. Wow. The wrist often gimbles. Uh, seems okay. Okay, let's quickly go through that. Oh no, wait, I was... Was I on the correct wrist control? I think I was. Yeah, cool. Let's look at this guy. Thanks for the follow, dude. What am I doing here? I'm dragging it back on itself. So let's keep dragging it. Um, and then it can fling around. Maybe even overshoot. Cool. Trying to make it feel nice and organic. Cool. So. Boom, boom. He's out of this. Flick into this. Flick back out. Cool. Wow. I didn't feel wow 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 so there's a little bit wow, of breakup in that wow, now wow just from that little move nice we're getting very subtle with some of the stuff today so what's happening here we are gonna start leading with this so i want to leave with this more i think What's happening? Open. It's kind of arcing back on itself. I don't. I like having that this open at this point. So maybe. Maybe I can just open it. And do something like this. Cool. Let's ease all of these out. I think that would be nicer. I feel like I'm talking less because I'm getting more focused on minute details. <laughs> so if any of you watching have any questions, please do ask. I think I want to lead with this rotation more, so I'm going to offset that a bit. Let's keep it out for a bit longer and then, yeah, it can flow back in. Maybe even offset, overshoot a little bit. And then sell back. Once, wow, once. I think that's a bit too much overshoot, but I like it. Once, once, wow, once, wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once, wow. Cool. I so I think that wrist is pretty nice uh, for that rotation. So let's look at the other ones. What's this one affecting? Ah, okay, this is a big one. Yeah. So let's make this linear. So this is really going to drag a lot. Uh, maybe less so on that first frame, but then 
can definitely have it drag some of this. So let's have it apex later than the rest of it, and then it can sell back. Nice. Where are we going with this? Okay, we're starting to open up. I think the, the risk can lead. That's fine. What's happening here? We're opening. So we're kind of anticipating back and then we're opening up. That's fine. Let's tighten this guy up. Just going to clean up these curves. hold in here for a bit yeah not as long as I'm doing actually I want to start coming into this drag as early as possible keep dragging it drag it feels a bit isolated so I don't want that maybe not as late um, yeah yeah, so we got a little bit of that drag and that breakout. That's good. That point. I'm gonna overshoot this way as well. Boom. See how that looks. At all. Not at all. Not at all. Feels a bit wibbly wobbly. Um I might just scale all of these keys down a bit. Not once at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not once. Cool. What's happening here? Yeah, I think we can simplify this. Yeah, can we? I, I kind of understand what I'm doing here, actually. Tensing it in quickly. Um, And then shoot it open. Yeah, okay, let's do it this way around. And then it can shoot open on these frames. Cool. And then we can drag it back. Cool. Let's just have it hold up here and then come back. Cool. Lots of fiddly bits then. Lots of fiddly bits. For sure. Just cleaning things up. Just trying to break up that wrist once. really. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I won't go on to the fingers yet. Uh, into polish. I do have to clean this curve up. What's this doing? Okay, that's the in and out. So let's do a quick pass on this. Dragging in here, and then it's going to catch up. This becomes the side to side as it turns. It's a bit awkward, but we'll figure it out. Maybe we can hold this out for a bit longer and then have it start to come in. Cool. Then what's happening? We're dragging. Okay, we're dragging this way. Cool. That makes sense to me. Gotcha. Cool. So let's overshoot this this way. 
and then I can sail back this way. Cool. Very fiddly. Very, very fiddly. Let's just have it hold in this direction and then it can fling back and then bounce back again. Cool. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So we cleaned wow. up that arm. Nice. <laughs> that took ages. All. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick. I think it's getting there though. Not once. What'd you guys think? Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick. Wow. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So we do have to clean up the other arm still. Sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Uh, cool. We can go onto this arm though. Maybe I can try a traditional FK clean up on this. I don't know. But I might go to the toilet real quick. How long do we have left? I'm gonna go to the toilet and then we'll do about 20 more minutes and then we'll stop. But I'll leave it playing, I guess. Uh, maybe I can do. Let's turn that off. Maybe I can do the old caching. You're off. See you later, buddy. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Wow. I didn't Make sure to pull if you want to see more. Not once. Wow. Yeah, so here's a real time playback. It's basically once. the same as the other wow. playback. <laughs> I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. All right, I'll leave wow. it playing for you guys while spots are loot. At all. I'll be back Not in a sec. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick right, at back. all. Not once. Wow. How's it going, guys? I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So this wow. is where we're up to. I didn't just cleaned up the right all. arm, Not screen right arm. Wow. Uh, I'm going to move on to the screen left arm. Once. Wow. And then I'll probably do facial animation all. after that, Not which will be the fun bit. But for today, uh, I've got like half an hour left, so I'm going to try and speed run through this screen left arm. And then, yeah, that's, that's kind of it for today. How are we with uh, rotation orders? I think that's that's the way to go. Cool. What's happening here? 
We need to go this way, if anything. Just going to do a quick pass uh, cleaning up these curves. Wow. So I think they're pretty solid just from Blocking Plus, where we left it. But we'll clean it up and then see where we stand. I'll just try a traditional workflow on like what I did with the other arm. Because we got a bit messy with that one. Boom, boom, boom. Yo. Hey, thanks for the raid, man. Artful Dodge, how's it going? Artful Doge, even. <laughs> how's it going, bud? Thank you very much for the raid, that's awesome. We're just doing uh, some animation in here. This is what I have so once? far for the new years. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. This is a new rig which is just coming out soon. At all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, I, I have acquired a Leo. Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't think he's out until someone in January, but I cheekily asked for one. <laughs> cheekily asked to have a go with him, and he's been he's been really good. Thank you, man. Getting through it. With uh, today's been the first splining pass, that's what I've been working on. So I've worked from the root out, uh, and now I've worked on to the arms, which I'm starting to clean up now. So I've cleaned up the screen right arm, and I'm having a look at the screen left arm. Just cleaning up the curves for now. Uh, and then I'm going to track some things and make them nice and snazzy and polished. Let's make sure that it's linear because we're coming in. Cool. Just gonna get as far as this as I can. Make sure it's all nice and clean. And then we'll start tracking. Speedy cleaning. Animation is so fun. I just can't freaking stand the rigging process. Oh yeah, I don't, um, I don't rig. That's why I'm just an animator. <laughs> In the professional setting, I have never rigged at all. Only animation. Living the good life. <laughs> Rigging gives you flashbacks. Oh man, in uni I uh, had to do bits and pieces for certain assignments and oh god, it's... Some people love that thing, but for me it's it's a hard no. So yeah, dirty ass curve here. Let's clean that guy up. So were you streaming before Art for Dodge, Doge? What were you streaming? Are you an animation person or are you doing something else? Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once at okay, all. That feels horrid. Let's turn this way down. Retopoing <laughs> some pieces of environment, nice. Oh, do you have like a modeling stream? That's cool. Onto this final curve. Did I clean this one? This looks pretty clean. Like this is the one I haven't cleaned yet. So let's look at this. Simplify this. Put too many changes of direction. Oh, thanks. 
Sadly, all of the stuff there is at least a year and a half old. I was working on a film for the whole of this year, but I'm not able to show that till it comes out and that's not coming out till next year. Uh, I was working on a film at Axis Studios, which do a lot of game cinematics usually, but they did their first film for Netflix this year, which is cool. Uh, and then I'm starting a new job at Illumination McGuff in January. So I'm so excited to start there. I can't say the title of the film, sadly. It's not um, it's not announced yet. But I'm sure you'll hear about it <laughs> when it gets announced. If you follow me on Twitter, I will be uh, spamming as soon as there's an announcement. Yo, thanks for the follow as well, Shufo. Yeah, man, it, it's just, it was good fun. It was a good fun process on that, on that project for sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it was their first film, so there was some hiccups. I'm excited to, definitely excited to start somewhere that has done a number of films and uh, it's going to be a bit smoother, I think, <laughs> in terms of the pipeline and such. Looking forward to that for sure. What's going on here? I'm just opening up, I guess. I'm kind of just cleaning these curves without paying attention to what's happening because this is just an arm that's in the wow. background. But we'll, I, didn't feel sick I think it's all. gotten us Not a good once. amount of the way wow. there. I didn't feel sick at all. I think this is looks broken, but I think part of that is just because the wrist is going a bit more mental than it needs to go. But let me check a couple of the rotates and see. Rotate Y. Maybe this is still too much then. Let's scale this down, huh? Let's tone it down. Let's have it travel less distance and be a bit softer. Oh, not what at all. Not at all. I wonder what's this doing? Am I tucking in during this whole bit? I'm tucking in. I think I need to come out earlier. I think that's part of my issue. I'm kind of just on autopilot now. I'm not making as many conscious decisions as I was making earlier in the stream. So it'll be it'll be good for me to take a break soon. I definitely find myself switching off during the uh, splining process a lot more. When I got into facial animation, which will be the next stream, but we'll uh, hopefully be a bit more engaging. <laughs> Not once I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. Uh, so let's look at these rotates real quick. Maybe this is causing some issues. I'm sure it is because it's dirty as hell right now. So I'm going to ease out of this and then pop into this next position. So let's make sure the spacing is nice on this. So are you guys uh, working professionals or students or what kind of stuff do you guys do? to the next position so let's do that i need to be a bit more conscious with these decisions i think so i'm going to arc this under a bit more and then it can scoop up into here i think that'd be nicer awesome Cool. Uh, and this is dragging more. Yeah, that's what we want. Drag it, drag it, and then it can start to open up in here. Boom. Straight. And then I think maybe this just can be a bit softer in here. So let's figure that out. Boom. What's happening here? bit of overlap I guess so let me push it a bit and then we can always scale it down afterwards if we need to 
once. Wow. I didn't feel sick. Definitely at feels all. a bit stiff, but I think it's partly the wrist, which wow. we'll get onto in a minute. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Uh do two things. One pays me, the other one doesn't yet. <laughs> uh, you're a student, you watch most of you see my process. That's cool. Hopefully some of these tips and things help you for sure. Animation's a real tough one to, to get your head around. It took me years. I was a student for three years in a university course and then another year or so before I got my first job or something. It was a few months definitely before I got my first job. It's very difficult. Uh, you make 3D animation, 3D stuff for Amazon. Um, Co-founder of Little Star, working on a game called Grimstar. Awesome! Oh, that's sick, man. Or gal. You can never tell with uh, with chat names. At all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. So yeah, the wow. rotations of the wrists are feeling at super all. stiff. I think that's what's causing that ending to feel super weird. So let's look at what the rotations are doing, huh? I'll drag this guy. And then it can come up. We can overshoot it and settle it in here. Uh, clean up some of this. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe make that a bit less flat. And we're opening up here. So I might, I guess I'm dragging for this open. I guess that's what I was doing in the blocking. So that's try and make that work cool just clean up that curve I think we've got the intention in there so we we'll just make sure it's clean and then I'll get us most of the way we can drag that rotate I think that's cool and then yeah it can get to the point of overshooting I think we I think I want to sell it back here a bit more. I think that's part of the issue is it looks gross because it's too overbent. Cool. Let's get this ease in a bit softer. I can delete some of these. Bum, bum, bum. Once at all. Not once. Okay, so what am I doing in here? I need to make a decision because right now I'm kind of half arsing and opening. I guess maybe something like this is what I'm going for, huh? let's do that we're opening it up once. and then closing wow. it a little bit cool that feels a bit de less once. dead the fingers are wow. going to need to do Not something once. and some of the wow. other rotation channels because they're dead at the moment at all. Once. Feel sick at all. Feel sick at that all. feels like it hits too hard right now so i'm going to soften this out a bit um it's frame for and i think it's frames like this are just too much Let's turn it down. Oh, not one at all. Might be some of the other at channels all. as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that was sort us out. All right, what's the time? Sick at all. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll get through these arms before we finish today. As I say, a bit more of a boring one today. Um, I definitely think splining is, is not spectator friendly. But that's fine. We'll get on to the fun facial stuff next. Just going to tighten this up a bit. And then have this. Give it a little bit of breathing room. What's happening in here? I don't think we need that. I think that's just distracting. I want to kind of ease into this, I think. Cool. We can open up. Cool. Open it and then start to ease back. Bang, bang, bang. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, what's happening in here? This is where it's really dragging, so, so it's, I think it makes sense for it to be easing out for all of this, and then it starts to drag real hard in here. And then we can have it, maybe we can do a little down apex there. 
and then this can ease in and bounce back. Yeah, so we're getting some real noise in here. This is going to be, this is a trouble error right now. And I think cleaning up these curves is going to help that significantly. I'm just softening it out a bunch. So, again, we need to make a constant decision on this part because we're just kind of awkwardly <laughs> flailing. I'm just going to flip that curve so that it settles back on itself. Wow. Once. Once. So, yeah, Once. now that wrist has a little wow. bit of life. Oh. I need to open the hand Once. for that movement, wow. I think. I didn't feel it at all. Once, I think the this Y is too delayed as well. Once, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. Wow, I didn't. So we've got one more channel. I think we need to check on. Okay, so let's check on this guy. What's this guy controlling? See that linear? Clean this up a bit. Is that what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to overshoot that way? Maybe. That works. Cool, let's keep this simple. Yeah, so this is opening up that way so we can drag it a little bit and then it can flick open. Cool. Flicks open. Getting some dirt in here that we don't want. So let's clean that up. Maybe I do want something in here. Just a bit of a overshoot this way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit gross right now, but maybe I can work something in there that would be good. Maybe it's one frame, maybe two frames is too much, huh? Yeah, that feels super snappy and horrible. I think it... I think it's this frame in particular. So I'm just going to key the frames around it and then soften this frame a bunch. Maybe soften this frame a bunch as well. Cool. Oh, not one all. Not at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. <coughs> I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So we're getting pretty clean with this, man. Like, here's the channel I just did. Yo, thanks for the follow, dude. Um, so I need to make a conscious decision in here as well. I think I need to open up this way. I think that's my what I need to do. Cool. And then I'm gonna hold it for a bit. Open. And then it can start to ease out. Maybe, maybe this frame is the right one for easing out. Um, and then we can just settle back in here somewhere. Cool. I think Once. that's gonna work for that area. Cool. Uh, I can scale it down a bit though. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. <coughs> Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick. So there's more at of all. a traditional Not workflow once. for cleaning up. Wow. Okay. I think that I uh, at all. drop Not down in that once. back arm still feels wow. horrid. I didn't feel I'm gonna sick check it in perspective. I think that will help me see what's going on with it. Uh, so let's do that. Let's see what's happening in perspective. And why it's getting sick gross. At all. Not at all. Oh. 
You know what? Actually looks alright in perspective. Not Hits a bit. Not at all. Not at all. Not sick at all. Not once sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not at all. all so is it not... I think it's just the fact that this settles in really late. Is that to do with this? Yeah. Is it? Is it this? It's this. Okay. Maybe this is too much information and we just need to ease into this, you know? See how that looks. Not one at all. Not Simplifies at all. it a lot, doesn't Not it? Let's do that. At all. Not at um, but let's clean this curve up quickly. Give it somewhere to go for all of this. Not once. Wow. Yeah, that works a lot better. At all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, let's give him his textures back. Oh, didn't work. Wait. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't so I haven't cleaned up the fingers, all. but other than that, I've cleaned once. up wow. most of the body I here. I think it's all. decently Not successful. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick. gone pretty at far all. into it, really. Not the once. clean up of it. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Maybe I can find a Not once. <laughs> an open hand pose or something in here that'll be nicer for uh, for this part since we're kind of opening up a bunch. Ease out. And then treat some of these as ease ends. Uh, cool, just did a little bit of jamminess to uh, wow. give that a little bit of Once. something in the fingers Once. there. Wow. And I'll break that all up and make Once. it nicer when we get to the actual Once. actual thing. I don't want it to close as much as I've got it closing now, actually. So let's just scale Once. that back. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at we'll all. do a proper finger not pass once. at some point, wow. but not right now. I didn't feel sick I don't think. at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. Wow. I think maybe for the wrist in here. At all. Not once. I should focus on less in the Z. Let's have a look at the Z. I think less. Once. Wow. Not once. I think more in the X, maybe. So let's try that out. Once. Wow. Once. Not once. Wow. Not once. Wow. Not once. Not once. Maybe the Z needs to go in the complete opposite direction. Let's try flipping the Z. I think the arm feels a bit broken going that way. Once. Uh, let's flip it from this one. Once. Wow. Not once. Wow. Not once. Uh, which way does this go when it comes back? Okay, I think I want this to go the opposite way. Wow. Not once. Wow. Not once. Maybe it's a bit much. Maybe we could have it flip, but just less. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So yeah, the more you I work on an animation, the more picky you get Not about very once. particular things. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I want to leave with these eyes quickly sick because at all. it's okay. annoying me. <laughs> Just going to get these eyes over earlier. Do a little one frame eye lap. At all. 
Nanosec at all. Nanosec at all. We'll go into the once. eyes and different wow. things. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. But for now, we just did the body, all. right? Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I feel like this X can come back a bit more for this move we just added. Once. Wow. <laughs> once. Maybe it can be a bit softer to get back. Cool. I didn't feel sick good to at all. Not once. Wow. Let's have a look at him in perspective. At all. Not once. Wow. <laughs> kind of looks stupid in perspective. It's mostly once. clean. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. That leg is uh, doing its own thing, isn't it? <laughs> didn't really think about this leg much. Maybe we just have it lead a bit more. Not once. And be sharper. Maybe have the tiniest ease out as well. Not once. Wow. Doesn't really matter in uh, camera view because you can't see it. But I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. Maybe we can delay it a little bit. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. At all. Not. <laughs> delay it even more. Not once. Wow. Not once. Maybe one more frame. Not once. And maybe we can scale it down a little at bit all. as well. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. We, we've got pretty far today. At all. You know. Not once. Wow. Any final questions anyone has before I all. sign out for the Not day? Once. Wow. I didn't we feel sick at all. We this whole shot. Not once. Well, the wow. body. I didn't feel sick. To a decent standard. Not once. In wow. About three hours. Two hours forty-five. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel still need to do fingers, still need to do facial once. animation, still need to wow. clean up bits and pieces, get a bit more polishy. Not once. But I get wow. pretty polishy pretty quick, which you probably noticed. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Um, I haven't actually cleaned this guy up. Just make sure that it's not doing anything jank and I think it'll be fine. But yeah, any final questions whilst I do this real quick? And other than that, I'll sign out for the day, but we've got pretty, pretty solidly into this today. Pretty happy with how far we got. Just gonna clean this up. Uh, Touch any of that. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. At all. Not once. Maybe this is leading too much. Maybe I can delay this. Get rid of a key or two in here. And then I'll do get space. Cool. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Well, there he is. Once. Wow. I didn't feel Your boy sick Leo. at all. Not Second once. stream with him. I think he's wow. a really cool rig. I didn't Would feel recommend. Sick at all. Not once. Maybe we can do a quick experimental thing whilst I'm fiddling. Maybe I should save this for another stream, but I wanted to test it. Uh, I have a tool in here. Which one is it? The physics tool, uh, which is basically gonna, if you know any of the Rich Lico stuff, this is a script recently that uh, was re released for free. I think it's going off his kind of mentality with things. Basically it creates wow. physics. <laughs> so it pulls objects to a certain position. So if I put layer that on the shoulders, for example, 
I'll show you what it does. It's gonna make the shoulders super bouncy um, on top of the animation we already have. But what I can do then is just scale that right down and we'll just get a little bit of free bounce. So spring layer, I'll just call this spring layer shoulders or something or shoulder spring layer. Shoulders. So let's wow. see what this is doing. So yeah, there's a lot of extra once. bounce wow. in the shoulders that this is giving me for free. So if I turn that way down. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. We just got a little bit for free. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't. So yeah, let's just make that 0 0.2. Um, and maybe we can do, I'll just test it on this. I feel like this would be a real subtle one if I do it to this controller. Uh, this is called spring layer. If I call this belly, belly spring layer. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So you can see wow. how that's kind of bouncing around a lot. So if we scale that right down to, you know, 0 0.2 or something. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Might just give us a I tiny bit of at all. Not something once. in there. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Anyway, we'll, we'll play around once. with that some more when we get wow. to a more polishy stuff. I, I just wanted to show you guys. All. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Feel sick at all. Not feel sick at all. Feel sick at all. Feel sick at all. Feel sick, sick at all. I feel like I can make this head even snappier through here, you know. At all. Just going to scale those in a bit. Sick at all. Sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. But yeah, that's what we got to all. today. Not Thanks for once. coming along. Wow. I think it's getting there. Let's do a play blast, at all. actually. Not once. And have a look at it. Um, save. We're on version 10. We went through versions like hell today. Yeah, with that layer approach, I always save a new version when we start changing a new part. That's just part of my uh, process. Cool. Let's play blasting. But yeah, fingers, face, clean up, breathing, bit of noise, you know, all on the next stream. I feel like we've only got like one or two more streams on this and then we'll, we'll get through. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. So yeah, there's a couple of areas which are a bit dead all. in the body. Not once. A couple of the holds. Wow. But I think I when we get in all. a bit more, Not once. Wow. we'll uh, add some breathing and stuff for those Not areas especially. Wow. Bring it to life, I, didn't feel I think. Sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. But yeah, I'm pretty happy I didn't with feel where we've got at to. All. Not once. Uh, thanks wow. for coming along, everyone. I... Um, that's it for the day. Let's flip him. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not. I didn't feel sick at all. I feel like I need to I open feel this sick arm wider now. Not... I'm just going to say goodbye and then I fiddle something. This is classic. Which arm was it that like, I wanted to make wider? This one? I think it's this. I think I just want to make this open up a bit more. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, I'm getting a phone call. So I probably definitely should finish. So that's it for the day, guys. I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. Uh I'll answer my phone in a second. Alright, thanks for coming along everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. We got pretty far in today. Cool. Uh, until next time. Um, let's see if I can find someone to raid, actually, since I got raided. Let's see if there's any people doing animation or 3D art. Uh, let's look it up. Animation. Uh, 
Um, who have we got today? This looks like animation. Is this animation? I'll wait for the ad to Wow. Finish. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel sick at I didn't feel sick at I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Yeah, I think this I didn't feel sick. opens up a bit wide here. I think maybe we should keep that in more uh in general. <laughs> And that arc is a bit wibbly wobbly in here. Uh, cool. Anyway, it looks like I found someone doing animation. Uh, I don't know who this is, but we'll raid them anyway. All right, I'll send you guys over. Thanks for coming. Um, slash raid. All right, guys. See you later. Enjoy this other person's stream. It looks like they're doing cool animation. Laters. See you next time.